My name is Cody McVeigh. I'm the deaf minister leader. Before I begin, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to share to all these people who are watching something to help them understand in their hearts, in their minds, in their soul, to really take it in about how glorious you are. In the name of Jesus, amen. I want to share something. Recently, my good friend lost someone very special to her. And it's somewhat difficult for me to comfort her because sometimes I don't know how to comfort myself if I was in her place. Or you or someone in your family or your friends experience a loss of a loved one and you don't know how to comfort yourself or someone else, Jesus has an answer for that. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 4, he says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. God himself is the ultimate comforter, because he's the only one who absolutely understands what you have been and are experiencing the loss of a loved one. He sacrificed his own son for all of us. Wow. And of course, he mourned for his son who was hung on the cross, with all that pain that was involved, everything he got from his enemies. He was glad that Jesus overcame death, and three days later, he was resurrected. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 and 4, it says, Blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, the, comfort, the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction, any hurt, with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. God comforts us in our darkest times so that we are able to have strength and give others help and strength during their worst times. We look up to God as an example on how to provide comfort and love during those times of sorrow. Remember God's promise to us about our future when we meet him in heaven. In Revelations, chapter 21, verse 4, he says, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death shall be no more. Neither shall be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. It's okay if you don't know how to comfort yourself or someone other person. Sometimes we don't have the right words to say. But you can comfort someone without words by a hug or being there for him or her. And remember, God is the only one who gives you the ultimate peace and healing. In John chapter 14, verse 27, it says, Peace, I leave you with you. Peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Amen to that. Let's pray. Father, thank you for all the peace, the healing that you've given to us, the comfort you give to us through all of our problems, our sorrows, our pains, anything that we experience. We know that you're giving us the strength and the comfort that we need. And that then we can comfort other people the same way that you give it to us, we give it to them. 
so we can copy your actions. We know what they need because we look at your actions and we help them to be connected to you and have a relationship with you. And for those people who are watching, I hope they have peace in you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you. Bye.